What is up, Internet? My name is Will. I'm here to play video games. It is a Saturday instead of sometime during the week. And the reason for that is because today we're going to be playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, I got the game yesterday, but I did not stream yesterday because my good friend Eigengray uh, was streaming last night. And they will also be streaming tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. They're doing a uh, steel mono steel run in Pokemon Shining Pearl, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, we're here to play this game. I am so excited about this. Uh, I watched Kaylee play a little bit of this yesterday, and oh man, it just looks so good. So we're just going to jump into it and see what happens. Could be very exciting. Now, I did put the no spoilers tag in my tags, and I also have it in the title. So, again, no spoilers, please. I don't want to know anything. I wish to know nothing of what will happen. Uh, we will be going with English. You see now saving on the screen. Your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable autosave and settings. Okay, cool. We're not going to disable autosave. What are we? Heathens. Ooh, shiny. What's going on here? Ooh. Is this Arceus talking to us right now? Oh, man. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. I'm trying to imitate what Arceus sounds like in the movie they made for him years ago. That was part of, like, the, the Diamond and Pearl uh, movie trilogy. Like, the first one was about Dialga and Palkia, the second one was about Giratina, the third one was about Arceus. Hi, Grey! We're doing it! It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. <laughs> oh my god, we're just talking- We're just talking to God right off the bat! Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the very first of the- this is the very beginning of the opening, yes. Now. I wish to know thine appearance. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with this one. What is thy name? My name is Will. Thank you for asking. All is correct and as it should be. Yes. Will! What is thine quest? To seek the Holy Grail! What is the velo what is the average velocity of a swallow? You mean an African swallow or a European swallow? I don't know that. <laughs> it gets cast into the, the pit. <laughs> Thank you, Gray. Uh Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. I've, I may have heard about something that's going on here, and some things are starting to make sense now. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokémon. Will. Seek out all Pokémon, and thou shalt find me once more. We are getting motherfucking isekai my good friend. Let's go, bitches. Yeah, look. I don't think it's just isekai I think we're fucking time traveling. <laughs> what? Hey, look, a cell phone. <laughs> okay, things are starting to make sense now. As to why there's a goddamn cell phone. That's a fucking t-shirt and shorts. He's wearing our cargo shorts. Oh, oh, hello, God. <laughs> what is happening? What? Our phone. What is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're time travelers. And we just got isekai'd. Time travel is a form of isekai. Imagine God shows up to isekai and they catch you wearing- Oh yeah, look at this cool loading icon. 
Okay. Wake up! Uh. Oh! Do wake up, won't you? Oh, who's talking? <gasps> Look! Cute friends. Are you alive, my boy? Hello? Oh look, it's Relit Cyndaquil Noshwat. Uh... Uh... Where am I? You gave me quite the shock! Falling from the sky like that! Pay no attention to the giant hole in the sky off over Mount Coronet. Plot twist, it was actually the Pokemon yelling at you and this is a mystery dungeon game. That would be amazing. But well, thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some as directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No. So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. This guy's a pretty western get of himself, all things considered. Uh, he's not from Hisui. He's from a different region. He, he travels around, I believe, is what they said about him. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. How is falling from the sky? Uh, interesting. Uh, okay, so we're time travelers. That explains a lot. I wonder, I wonder if we're supposed to be like, our character's actually Lucas and Dawn from the future, or the present, I guess. That'd be interesting. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you, how, do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yeah, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? I'm Will. Oh, oh so you're called Will. That name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it's very nice. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here, with <laughs> Later. Oh, blast and bother! My darling Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Okay. Oh, man. We really just start off, huh? Holy cow. So I guess we fell from that giant hole in the sky. Uh, Kaylee did tell me that's something that happens. I didn't realize we were going to be fucking time travelers, though. Holy shit. This is an Isekai game. Oh, my God. Isekai Pokemon. Oh. Hey, look, our cell phone. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. You found something that resembles a phone. Probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone in thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Oops, God made your phone into his image. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he also sent us a text message. He just sent us a fucking text. What is this game? <laughs> okay, but like, this game's pretty. Like how we made fun of the game for letting us have a phone in ancient times. Turns out it was a plot point. <laughs> oh, alas, here's another miss. Hey, what's up? Oh, glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. Oh, it's absolutely still worth making fun of. You're absolutely right. 
I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one's Rowlet. Hello. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant. Apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. It's cute. I like Rowlet. I also like Cyndaquil. That one over there is Cyndaquil. Fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. I love all three of these, honestly. Oh my god. Pokemon near the pond is Oshwalt. Oshwalt naps while floating in the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Bish, bish. Oh my! I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Those are the Pokemon to catch them. You obtained 50. Holy fuck. We're gonna need 50, honestly, so... But that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. I'll get to which one in a second. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokémon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokémon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokéballs come in. Pokéballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them on Pokémon, and... The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Yes, I do want Otter Boy. Yes, and this did come be Pokemon Go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be going with Oshawott. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though so far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay, uh, hold down the ZR button to ready a ball and take aim. Okay. Release the ZR to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. You ready to Pokeball poke? There's some shit about uh, Apricorns here. Oh yeah, no, Apricorns are a big part of this. Uh, I was watching Kaylee play this game yesterday, and yeah. Okay, hang on. I kind of want to just watch Oshawott run around the pond. Oh, hi, buddy. This is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. There's Rowlet over there just chilling in the flowers. And Cyndaquil's over there. All right. We caught it! Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokémon! Seems you have quite the knack for this Pokémon catching business, Will. Who I feel useful, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokémon in the slightest. Uh, I guess we'll go get Rowlet next. Uh, it's up here, right? Yeah, there he is. Oh. Bonk. Rowlet was gonna be my first choice initially, but then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I haven't used Osh a water type in forever for a starter. So I decided I wanted to go with Oshwat. I can hardly believe it, Will. Incredible! You know, many people even fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. One more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? All right, let's go get Cyndaquil. So uh, the only reason I'm not picking Cyndaquil, because I might have honestly picked that instead, is because Kaylee wanted to use Cyndaquil. And also because I just picked Chimchar for Brilliant Diamond. Got it. Oh! Oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. I wonder if he's from Galar. I hope he's from Galar. I used to almost always pick the water starter, but water is such a common type that I would always end up with two to four water types on my team. And the thing is, it is still a common type in this game. 
But like, I really wanted a water starter. Oh. Got it. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. See, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help of our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Will, I was taken aback by how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokémon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. Compile this region's first complete record of its Pokémon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in a region. But... In order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokémon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokémon, and mine is to have all those Pokémon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one out, out, one another out, my boy? You've convinced me. Then whoever, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village! I'm also wearing sandals, I just realized. Mm -mm. Something's going on at Spear Pillar. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokémon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Hmm. Oh, here. And now he's just like, what the fuck? Hmm. This is cool. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a quite a long way since the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. This road on, we're on now is known to locals as Canala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, and not many to do it. As we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to step outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. Oh, botheration! I'd almost forgot. Botheration? What? Also, I really like the Galarian wheezing smokestack in the background. That's a nice touch. Oh my god, these people are probably just shitting a hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the face that they has. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokémon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Just past the bridge here, it's then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Oh. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Ooh. In an unfamiliar land, hid the wallflower serves as the village canteen. Hey, fellow children. This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon, too. You came in here anyway. How come? 
Back in my hometown, I've got an older brother who's gonna inherit the family farm and all. But I'm gonna make my own way here in Hisui. Anala Bridge. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Canteen. Okay, so a pub, but E-rated. Yes! That is what it is. Hmm. Hmm. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflower is for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Fuck you, Benny. Oh. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Leventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. Ow. But Professor... Well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Will here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Huh? Huh? Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Hey, look, it's Cyrus. But... A girl. Or woman. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokémon when they slipped his control. And now it seems you would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be fifteen or so. Hmm. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, oh A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Hmm. Loof as always, I see. Please stand, Silene. Hmm. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Penny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi will never fails to please. Hmm. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know the, that great hole in the sky? The one that people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it! You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. Sort of. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokémon here in the Hisui region. That there are. In the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokémon are terrifying creatures! So, but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do! Well, that's where Will comes in. He successfully fought three Pokémon! Three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokémon research in earnest! Three?! We have a hard enough time catching even one wild po when wild Pokémon come after us! Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokémon that fled through the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokémon is getting close enough to aim your Pokéball well. 
And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Will. And think, make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Alright. I wonder if Benny is like an ancestor for someone. They've got, it looks like they've got green hair, so... The only person with green hair I can think of from Diamond and Pearl is Aaron of the Elite Four. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Will has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Will's skills. Wait, is that Silene? That's eating ten meals? Yes. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Will, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Yeah, Silene ate ten things of, uh, mochi. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you, to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate. Perhaps your death in the wilds. Fuck, lady! That's terrifying! And look, he's just like, what? My death? Captain Simon someone like Isui, and that they're both quite harsh. No, no, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bet you both a good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Girl boss. Yep. All right. Now, who might you be? I haven't seen you in the here in the village before. Captain of the Survey Corps, Eileen. I wonder if anything actually scares her. You hear style means a fresh outlook, and a fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. I've never seen clothes like like yours, hun. Where might they be from? Whoa, the graphics are almost jarring compared to Pokemon games I've seen. Hmm. They are different. Oh, we got a home. Now, sleep until morning. Yogi's used to store drinking water. It has a lid to key on top to keep from debris from falling in. Nice fire in the second hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Or lots and lots of items in it. Survey tips contain all sorts of a pole, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. Press the up button to open the menu. ZL, ZR. Okay. So I guess we should go to sleep. So what happens when we catch more than six Pokemon? Is there a Hisui and PC or what? I think they get taken. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. I know there's like a like a ranch that we take them to to let them like roam around, kind of like they what they do in the anime. We'll see. Let's rest until tomorrow. Oh, big tree. Whoa. Uh, what? Be doof, be barrel. What the fuck just happened? That didn't sound good. 
the next day. Oh, yeah, I was right. Good morning, Will. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so we're... Let's give it our all. Thanks, Akari. I believe the name for the male character... Oh, that's a... Watch this. Shoes? No shoes. Shoes? No shoes. That's funny. I believe the name for the... If, uh, the male character... Player character is Ray. Hmm. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Realistic for how fast I kick off my shoes inside. Exactly, same. Commander Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Kamado, I think that's who Professor Rowan's ancestor is, from what I've seen. Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my park of Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield that the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from a wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene, Will is here. Oh, she has an Abra! Look, there's an Abra in the corner. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, Prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Lands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Okay. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that! I love- I love Akari's facial expressions. Look at her mouth, she's just- <laughs> This is great. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If we wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Akari, yeah. Oh, she looks concerned. I will lend you one of our survey corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Neat. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. By pressing the Y button, press the Y button to the map on your arc phone and check the tasks you have waiting. Missions and requests. Missions must be clean requests your adventure, requests are optional. Okay. So, requests are side quests. Got it. Barton, Will, come with me a moment. What's up, Prof? Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Leventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Will absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Hey, guys. Go on, Will! Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy! With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Here, have a baby. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? So yeah, I did think long and hard about this, and I have decided... We're going with you, little buddy. Splash! I want Oshawott as my first partner. 
water baby. We got a little sea otter friend. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. I'm so happy. And if that's one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me, will now be yours to keep. Prelude Beach? Really? That's a bit on the nose. Good show. I've tucked our Schwark back in science Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Yay. Word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're on the field. Boom! They look as though they're cheating on their friend, Oshawott. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Will fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Boom. By the by, what species does Captain Silene charge you of catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Didn't you already give me, like, 50? Okay, 20. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as we've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Guess you're finally ready. You have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit the headquarters, then head for the gate. Well, guess we're doing this. Alright, they said left, right? Yep. You can throw spoiled apricorns at wild Pokemon to make them drop the defenses. Then they'll be easier to catch. Oh, interesting. How'd she get out here so fast? Oh, Main Street. Oh, it's, uh, male Cynthia. Oh. What a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Now I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon! You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? We stand Volo, yeah. How about you and I see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sure. I like you better and better. What a delightful find! I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to battle. Interesting. Togepi? Aww. Oh, Oshwat. Oh, it's a she! Interesting. Oshwat's gonna be a... Get him. She's gonna be the best Oshwat. Oh yeah, we can move around during this fight. We win! Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. At this point, I wonder why they even bother making the number of basic Pokeballs you have finite. Oh! New move! It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, They'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. Right, yeah, this is a thing. You can basically customize your Pokemon's move set. It never truly forgets a move. You can just switch it out for something else. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Yeah, it is convenient. 
And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Cool. Tropical medicine to be applied. Mm -hmm. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. And I'll be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Laters. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Chupalai Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map. Tell Rez the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you've been knocked, you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Yeah. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Not having to fish for heart scales to give it to a move reminder is so much less obnoxious. I know, right? Your will, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. The trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Alright, here we go. Obsidian Fieldlands. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Oh, well, you see, Captain Sylede got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing Captain. But what help ex exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Will's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Asshole. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's begin the trial. Poor Akari. <laughs> To be doof. Pokemon start launch attacks you. Run to safety as quickly as you can, alright, my boy? Hmm. Ah, okay, got it. Whoa. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Ooh. The Obsidian Fieldlands. And along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready to catch. Oh, It's so cute. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends to not run from people, so this will be easy. It is baby. I think I heard a shinx nearby. You gotta be able to catch a bee for a well-thrown Pokeball. Okay. Got it. You caught a Bidoof! Well done! Time to find your next Pokemon. Time to catch a Starly. It's so quiet. Oh, there it is. Sturdy. That's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Press the B button to crouch to make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the button again to rise. Okay. Huh? 
Nice. Got it. That's Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I bet this one we're going to have to battle. Come back alive from your trial. You must throw three orbs at small animals. <laughs> yeah. It's... I forgot. There's something I want to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Lysilene tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. I'm so sorry. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Okay, but first... Nice. Good job, buddy. There. That Shinx. Oh, it's so cute. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Use by focusing. More arrows to point up above, the easier it is. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catch an aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. You've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Hmm. We throw a Pokeball. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Oh. It looks so happy. Aqua Jet. Got it. We caught Shinx. Nice. You approached those Pokemon without a hit of fear and caught each one? You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious on why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Hmm. That was fun. Oh, I said you'd pass the trial of flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Will. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Hmm. With skills like yours, I suppose this is a forgotten conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad they unfucked Shinx Boof set in this game. Yeah. Hey, Lemon. Uh, okay. Let me catch you up on what you missed so far. Uh, I'm gonna wait till this dialogue starts. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught lot to live in the village pastures. Okay, so Lemon, let me, let me catch you up. So we started this game talking to God. Uh, Arceus is like, I'm sending thou on a quest. And then fucking yeets us through a portal uh, through space-time into the Hisui region along with our cell phone. So we have been isekai'd slash time-traveled into the Hisui region. That's why we're in these modern clothes, as you can see. It's a whole thing. What the hell? Why are we so naked compared to the others? Like... 
Okay, so like I said, we, we, uh, oh, that's why. Okay, you got, you just got my explanation. Cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking bizarre. So yeah, uh, God has sent us on a divine quest to catch all Pokemon. You can bring up the six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our report at headquarters. We already have four babies. Yep. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Yeah. Uh, also, I picked Oshwat as my starter. As you can see. Look how happy he is. Or she is. I gotta get used to calling her she. There we go. We already... But they still have cameras here. It's not that far in the distant past. Well, okay. I mean, they also got electricity. Sort of. Do the others, do the others. Oh, I should have done the others, you're right. Oh well. We'll do it later. Do this first. Get some clothes. Let's get some... Let's get our official employment. I'm gonna talk to her... Oh, I can't talk to her, Abra. Damn it! It seems we're going to leave you to, ta to, leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. You received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed to the room you used last night. Earn your report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Wait, okay, let's go in here. Uh, so this is the professor's office. He's got a little Kotatsu, but you know what else he has? Cyndaquil just hanging out here. And over here is Rowlet. Kaylee showed me this last night. And if you don't pick Oshwat, Oshwat goes in here. It's very cute. Great deal of survey work ahead of us. Oh boy, I hope you're ready. I'm not even going to look at you. Now I am. I'm done speaking to you. I like his Kotatsu. When you're ready to get into your uniform, make sure to use the mirror in your quarters. Oh. Why are you facing that direction? No one wants to look at me. I'm so glad the other two unchosen mons get to live. I know, right? They just get to hang out here. Hang on a sec. Oh. Starla's much bigger than I thought. Yeah, so is Shinx. Holy shit. Alright. Let's get changed. Here go my sandals. Time to put on your uniform. Oh, I can change my... Oh, sweet. Let's see, do I want pale blue or ultramarine? I want ultramarine. That's closer to my actual eye color. Cool. I want to look at what some of these other ones look like, though.
All right, but we're going with Ultramarine because that's the closest to my actual uh, eye color. Do I not have a hat? Oh. Also, have these people from the past who tend to be superstitious have accepted our existence without any prejudice? Uh, almost. There's a couple people who are like, oh, we don't like strangers. <laughs> Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had tailored it just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Ah, oh, my hat. Thank you. How long in the past are we again? Undetermined. Don't worry about it, Lemon. You're good. <clears throat> now, present yourself to the commander. Time to go meet Commander Commodo. This is the second floor, okay. This place is big, holy cow. Uh, so I just wanted to point out, also by the way, that I probably won't play this entire game on stream because there's a lot of requests to do, but I will try to do most of the story stuff on stream. Is our character literally the same in... Yeah, I think that either, uh... I think that our character is the Dawn slash Lucas from the present, and they traveled back in time. That's the theory I've- I've been waiting for you! I'm gonna use my Professor Rowan voice for this guy. Because he is Professor Rowan's ancestor. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I might go a little bit more gruff, though. This is a bit younger. Hmm. So you are Will. Uh, yes sir. Hmm. I have been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of! Face me in combat! Uh, what do I do here? That is a good scarf. Uh, do I throw him? Try to throw him or charge at him? You've got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. He just sumo tossed us. Are we pre-game or post-game pro tag? Probably post-game, because uh, they said that we look like we're about 15, so it's been a few years, I think. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you pass the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Will. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Hmm. Yay, we, we finished the mission. Ugh. Poor Protag must be so confused. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed. You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank it will become. Working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here. You will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Sweet. Uh, one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And 3,000 Poke as well. You'll have to buy the necessary materials. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. 
You can buy some items at the general store, but self sufficiency is worth striving for. We can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. I think we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Why well, is Team Galactic so serious now and not led by a cult leader? Mm hmm. I know, right? Not only that, but Professor Rowan's ancestor is the one that's actually in charge. Silene is more like a second in command. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anne. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked me that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. An everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Thank you. It's way to the crafts works, Will! Okay. Coming. You can use the workbench here at the craft works to any time you need to make an item in the village. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, Komodo seems interesting. You can definitely tell he's Rowan's ancestor, because he's... Well, he has the mustache in the face. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes. Or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft. In this case, a Pokeball. Okay. Let's make 10. The basics of crafting complete. Oh, oh now that's some fine craftsmanship. Oh, to believe this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, the Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. All so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Alright, we got our Pokedex. Ooh. Neat. Scene 7, caught 4. I prepare this volume just for you. Hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the Professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Field Lens Camp whenever you're ready, my good Will. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but overhear. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Ooh, we get our first side quest. So hey, there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it'll sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Uh-huh. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when select... So yeah, uh, Pokemon don't evolve automatically. You, uh, you have to go to the menu and evolve them when they are ready. That is another big thing that's different about this game, on top of being able to customize movesets. And so I decided to raise a, wanted to raise a Wormpole myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wormpole, Wormpole, could you let me have it? There will be a ward for it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wormpole if you can. Okay. Yeah, I can do that.
Get dazzling honey. Interesting. I wonder what a Starly would like. Well, you are that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to go out and compile that... Beauregard, yeah. Well, to be fair, not everyone here is from this region. They're from all around the world, so some of them have uh, more Western names. All right, I'm not going to read all this dialogue. So, I have to complete Starly's entry in the Pokedex. Okay. Oh, this is the general store. Uh, uh interesting. Um, I don't really have enough money to spend on revives yet, but I think I can craft them according to Kaylee. What can I help you with today? I like to style my hair. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, I like that. Nope. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, I kind of like curled the most. Let's see what we got for colors. Chestnut, gold, black, white. Hmm. Oh, that's my eyebrows. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this for right now, I guess. Either that or the messy ponytail. I do like the messy ponytail. That's fun. Uh, I think I'll go with curled for now, though, because that's actually, uh, that, that looks like my actual hair. Yeah, uh, can I wait? I do wish they had brown. Oh, the black is closer to brown, though, so I'll go with that. First time I see the word shorn, yeah. All right. Maybe we unlock more hairstyles as we go on. I hope so. Uh, yeah, I'll wear the hat. Looks good with the hat. I don't hang on. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go back inside because I... Well, I like the curled hair. I want this more. I just wasted a thousand dollars, but it's okay. Mostly used in the context of sheep. Okay, now that looks like my hair. <laughs> I see. Okay. Those ears. Oh. Sides, but what were they? No use. Can't remember this. Keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps of Catch Shings? Could you? Uh. There you go. Oh, one of those shrinks to show me? I just did. Idiot. Alright, let's have a peek at those round ears. Ah, they have the yellow cross pounder. Like star. Ah, uh, the ponytail's in my hat. Oh, I got some potions. Hmm.
Yeah, it's stored up in the hat, so like... Like that. Hair go up. That is physically impossible. No, it's not. That's pretty big, so... You know, you can do a lot with it. Uh, I'm looking up something... Real quick. I just want to check something, because this is important for me. Okay, so there are more hairstyles for dudes, but they get unlocked later, it looks like. Yeah, I was about to say, Gray does it all the time, so, like, it's not that impossible. Uh, we're gonna go with this look for now. I like the- I like this long ponytail. I would honestly probably put my hair in a ponytail if it was long enough. Alright, I want to check what missions and requests we got. Uh, okay, so Wurmple can evolve. So we got to catch a Wurmple for Beauregard. Then we got to complete uh, that Pokedex entry. Okay. How do we do that? Caught. So you have to catch a bunch of... We have to catch a bunch of Starlias, basically. Number you've caught without being spotted. Number of different forms you've obtained. Number you've evolved. Interesting. Okay. That's a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Heading outside. Stay safe out there, kid. Alright, we're headed to the field lands again. So that's what not having hella thick hair is like. That's kind of hurt at the end of the day, though, if your hair is pulled up like that for an extended period. Hmm. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. Details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Yeah, it's just what I was looking at. The lemon is a literal lion who is also a literal lemon. Alright, so when you're focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL, you can also instantly check the research tasks. Okay, 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 okay. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your hard work. One last piece of advice, Will. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely. Remember what I do so you can do it later. Hup! Dodge roll. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon attacks. That way, Hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blocking out in the wilderness. The survey the security corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. But don't worry. Don't you worry. I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. There it is, yep. Bye, Akari. Alright, so how do I Oh cool. So what are we doing today? Oh look, more Bidoofs. Now let me share some Survey Core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with ZL, and then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. 
You need two, then four, then more and more. And the Bidoof agrees. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to radio your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Alright. Trying to make it so it doesn't see me. Boy. This Bidoof is... Oh god, it's approaching me. Well... Alright, leveled up. Let's see if we can get this one without it noticing us. Nice. All right. Okay. We now have several Bidoofs. Oh, you took its berry. Eh. I think you got it. But as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just ZL, then down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. Okay. Wait, there was a thing on the ground there. There was? Catch a Starly without being spotted, right? Try catching some while hiding in the tall grass. Okay. Bye, Dawn. Was there a thing on the ground? Where? Oh, this thing. Medicinal leak. Curious. Oh, we can go into a first person mode. Curious. Yay, leak. Yeah, grabbable item, yeah. I heard a gastrodon in the distance. I think it noticed me. My original Starly got a new move. Thing. This is fun. We're just catching Pokemon. Like it's a thing to do. The more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it'll be to catch. Battle all Pokemon lower its HP, my baby inflicted Paris, so this is like Shinx. Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Vast field full of things that can now murder us. Yes, that is what we are here to do.
Holy shit! That thing came for me. Okay, Oshwat, we got this girl. Use Tackle. Use quick attack. Interesting. <laughs> Yay, more orange berry. Oh, another leak. Weasel. That's where Tumble Stones are. You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find Tumble Stones inside. Same Tumble Stones you need to craft Pokeballs. Cool. Can we sneak up on that weasel? We got a weasel. Cool. Hey, Kari. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. See, there it is. That means it'll try to hit you if it moves, just like Shinx. You'll need to battle it to catch it. The dangers of taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. The damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted. You will become overwhelmed and black out. Holy shit, that's scary. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Breezel include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Now I'll go on ahead. You take care of some of Weasel's research tasks, then come talk to me. Let's look at it. Number caught, number of large specimens we've caught, number defeated, you defeated with electric egg moves, times you've seen it use Aqua Jet. Okay, 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 okay. So I gotta get to use Aqua Jet. Let's try using Quick Attack. Whoops. Well, I meant to catch it, but oops. Oh, there's a wormhole. <gasps> That's cute. I bet the leaks are for crafting potions. Um, I'm almost positive they are.
Oh, we got a, a leak and some dust. Spoiled apricorn. Curious. Wormple. Oh yeah, that one guy wanted a wormple. Oh, I think you complete the task by battling with your own weasel and having your own use aqua jet. Oh yeah, you're right, because it counted the strings using quick attack, didn't it? That's a brilliant idea. Okay, hang on. Ah, fuck. Oh, it disappeared. Aw. Uh -huh. Guess Wormple's gonna be a bit harder. We can get another one to spawn. If you're feeling worn out, have a rest in a tent at one of our base camps. You can also rest there to pass some time. If it's nighttime and you're too scared to be out serving, the tent is a fine option. Only well, we got some more apricorns. We got a worm pole. I don't want to use up all my Pokeballs, so... What up, Akari? You're doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Oh good, I can make stuff. Good, I need to make more Pokeballs. Only use the materials you have in your satchel. Makes sense. And here's the recipe for potions, too. Alright. One orange berry and one medicinal week. Okay. That makes sense. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. As long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or if an orange berry and medicinal leak, you make a potion. So, do heal your Pokémon. Hmm. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokédex will tell you if there are tasks you've finished and you can report. Tasks with unreported data. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I've got stuff I need to report. Definitely. Please report back to Professor Leventon once you've got some research tasks good and done. Uh, 
how do I... Hmm? No, I'm good. Oh, it heals 60 HP. Interesting. Uh, Octopod is fine. It's not taking too much damage. I'm having fun. That's a lot of Starlies. Okay, I absolutely can. Okay, thank you, Kaylee, for answering that for us. Got five B doofs. Leak down here. Oh shit, a ponyta! Oh, oh baby. Hmm. So I've had a quick look. Sorry, I was playing the game myself for a while and tuned out. Now you're fine. Here we go! Ah! Fuck, it ran away. Damn. That was cool! We'll probably find another one later. I do know how to crouch, yes. I kind of forgot to crouch. That was my B. Is that? Oh, fuck. All right, gang. I'm about to do something real stupid. Should I do something? Do you guys want to see me do something real stupid? Do you want to see me do something really fucking stupid? Kaylee, I'm about to do something stupid. Uh, it didn't work. Should I challenge it? It is a Rapidash, but it's an Alpha Rapidash, meaning it's gonna fuck me up. Alright. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, holy shit, it's huge! Oh my god. Wait. How strong is it? I... How strong is it? It's not telling me how strong it is. It's level 40! Run! Oh no. Uh Tar reminds me of something, but I can't remember what. Uh let's just catch one of these ponyta instead. That seems smarter. Yeah, it's exactly that, yeah. Oof.
Alright. We should be good to use this now. Whew. Everybody level up. Uh... Here, Ashwat. Good girl. Investigated into sighting of an unusual ponytail. Interesting. For a specimens in order to do a water type move. Or time to do this. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is like the main theme of the game. I like doing the dodge roll. I'm stupid. Thank god I can just craft as many Pokeballs as I want. <laughs> oh, Shinx is up here. This is this is a cool fucking game. I I really like this game, guys. Oh my gosh. What's this? Iron chunk. Neat. You want to pick those up every time you've seen them. The iron? Okay. I will do that. Alright, I've collected a lot of Pokemon, so I think we'll talk with the professor now. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems like a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Uh-huh. You'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you filled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. A note, let me check the research task you've completed thus far. Let's see. We got all this shit. Ooh, not bad. Hmm, I see, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Carrying out research tasks and submitting reports. You'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry level to 10, that'll be considered complete, and you'll have unlocked all the detailed information to be had about that species. And to carry out and blah blah, you can get research points. Once you've earned, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Cool. Water pulse slash strong style agile style number you've evolved. Got it. Not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll complete a complete of a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. 
I recommend you work your way through Beedoof's and Starly's chest first. Hang in there. Okay, cool. Also, that freaking hat and those striped pants. Did we release those Pokemon back in the wild? You can't. I haven't yet, lol. We don't really need five Beedoof. Probably not. No. Hang on. Oh, but I can switch Pokemon with this guy. Uh... Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of some of these Beedoofs. Uh, we're gonna bring this Ponyta with us. And this Buizel, so... Okay, do either of these Buizels know Aqua Jet? No? Okay. Um... Let's take a Wormpole with us. This way we have a nice variety of types. Okay. So we're working on Beedoof and Starly's tasks first. Let's see what we got, what tasks we have for, uh, our good friend, uh, Bidoof. Earth heavy specimens. I haven't caught not any of those yet. Investigate the Bidoof that bothered the village. I haven't fought a Bidoof yet, so yeah. Let's see if we can catch some more for it. Oh no, Bee Barrel is pretty good, actually. Bee of the Bubber Village is side quest you can do later. Got it. It's not half bad, to be honest. Yeah, no, I know... Oh. Oshawott has mastered a move. Oops. Well, whiffed that. And it disappeared. Hmm. How long have we been streaming for? Oh, neat. Not that long. Not as long as I thought, at least. You can use the stances for it. Oh, okay, so, like, the Agile style and the Strong style. I know there was all those Beedoof that were... Ah, damn it, it got away. Well, can't get them all. Oh. 
the Chinks is asleep. I want to try and catch it while it's asleep. Yes! That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, styles are a thing, like... So battles actually work very differently in this game. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Hi, Gally. Gally's right next to me. See if this works. Oh! Alright. It's fun to catch Pokemon at night. At night. Oh, is it? What happens at night? What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a Drifloon! Oh, shit! At what rate does time pass? Uh, I'm not sure. Guys, look, it's a Drifloon. Yeah, we caught a Drifloon! Oh, that's awesome. Seems pretty comparable to Breath of the Wild's clock. Yeah, that's what I know what I was thinking. see how we're doing with the decks here. Number of different forms you've changed. Okay, so I've got both forms of Starly. Both male and female. Okay. I should focus a bit more on Bidoof, I guess. Yeah, Lefloon. There's an interesting side quest involving Drifloon later. Oh, is there? Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Not surprised. This is Sinnoh. And you can actually find Drifloon very early on in the game, so... And if we're, like, not far from Jubilife... What is Jubilife City, then... Yeah. Alright. Gnosis, Confusion, Ghost-type move, Caught at Night. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, I got away. Wait. What sees me? Oh, that one sees me! Holy shit. Side quest can be really funny. All right, I burned it. Is that one of the things we need to see it use? All right. That's not good. Yeah, the Drifloon coming straight for me. Flare boost. Got a bug wart. Whatever that is. We're caught at night. Sweet. Purple, you do something. Oh, what? Oh! Oh! 
It turned invisible. It attacked me. You can see that. Where'd it go? Okay, there it is. That's its hidden ability. I don't know what does. Surely this game still has abilities. Oh. Aqua Jet. Cow, that was scary. Whew. There are no abilities or held items in this game. Fascinating. Oh. Didn't even notice lol. Oh. I think I did hear something about that, that there weren't going to be abilities in this game. That is definitely a choice. Well, there's not battling other players, so this game is focused on catching and interacting with Pokemon. Different beast. Oh, all my interest in this game just dropped by 90%. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, no, this is, a, this is not at all... Actually, someone I saw someone on Twitter say something similar, that like, oh yeah, there's no competitive for this, so there's not a whole lot of point. No, this is primarily a single-player experience. Yeah, so I'd like to report my findings. Four of those nine Pokemon were Drifloon. Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, we've completed Starly. Sweet. Nice. Alright, so we've leveled up. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Will. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Lemons has skyrocketed. I like this game better because there's not battling. I don't like that part, lol. I like finding mons. I try competitive and they get mad because it's hard. I like a good mix between the two. Uh, who wanted a Wurmple? It was that guy, right? Have you got a Wurmple you could give me? Uh, yes, you can have this one that's level 2 because I want to keep the level 6 one. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Oh, it's going to evolve into a Dustox, isn't it? Oh, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you prefer best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Beaujean? Beautrish? Beauregard. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, guys, what do you think? Butricia, Budafred, or Bujin? Butisha. Oh my god, these are all terrible. Oh no! 
I kind of like Buda. I'm kind of going with Budafred. This is the one that's doing it for me. Does everyone else agree? I picked Bugene. Okay, I don't want to pick the same thing as you. If only because I want to do something different. I, I think I want to go with Fred. Fred's funny. Yeah, I like Budafred too. Guess that's decided then. Eugene. I'll raise Budafred to be a splendiferous Budafly. Wait and see. It's absolutely going to be a Dust Tox. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this world feels 100% becoming a Dust Tox. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got some honey. Where, where, where? Aww. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, right, I completed the Starly's uh, thing, so I can talk to her now. Oh, have you completed Starly's entry? Hurry, let me read it. Hmm, wait one moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible, I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its dex entry. Now I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. It's not a poke in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Uh... Will you show me a Starly? Yeah, uh... Here. Classic fucking gag, yeah. Curl of its fed, its lovely round eyes. It's lovely through and through, I adore it down to the last feather. Hello there, Starly. Wanna touch it? No! I think I'm quite satisfied just looking after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I th must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply see on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Well, thanks for the 10 Pokeballs. Why do you have these? Okay. This lady is like, I love Danger Bird, but I'm afraid. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Received a modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. What a precious gift! At least take good care of such fine attire. Wait, wait, wait. What does it look like? <laughs> uh, if it looks cool, I might wear it. Just to be... different. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Fun fact, if you have save data from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you get this Team Galactic- you get the Team Galactic outfit. And, uh, yeah. That's- that's a thing. That's a thing you can get. Uh, yeah, it's fucking great. Um, you also get Darkrai. You can also get, uh, Darkrai, uh, with the Diamond and Pearl save data, so we'll be getting that later. And if you have uh, data from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, you can get a little Pikachu or Eevee mask. The kimono is cute, yeah. Oh, I can put stuff in here, nice. Uh, what should I put in here? I guess stuff I don't want to lose? I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm gonna move my camera up here real quick, because fun fact, all of my stuff is, like, right there and you can't see it. Honestly, the regular Survey Corps outfit is such a good design, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put my camera up here just because, uh, we you're not gonna see the other Pokemon's HP ever, so, you know. You sell me clothes. Oh, I got another parcel. A Shaman Fancy Kimono and a pair of Shaman Fancy Bottoms. Huh. I have no idea what that's for. Oh, I got more parcels. Oh my gosh. What else did we get? A Pikachu Festival Mask and an Eevee Festival Mask. Oh, you get both masks, huh? What can I help you with? I would like to buy clothing. I want to see what you have. Ooh, I like the woven hat. 
Uh, headbands that you can't see because of my thick-ass bangs. The kimono is nice, though. I like I like the kimono. I imagine we'll get unlock more stuff later on. Ooh, a karate gi. Cool. Ooh, we got Geta sandals. Nice. And here's some Zori. Which are like basic ass sandals. Oh, and glasses. Neat. Okay. I'm done shopping for now. Uh, yeah, like like I said, we'll probably get more clo clothes soon. I can't wait for Beautifred to become a beautiful dust tox. It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, you can also see this little loading icon now. It's pretty cool. All right, we should go talk with Silene and get our first star. Ma'am, if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. So this is like the equivalent of gym badges, basically. From what I understand. You now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Okay, yeah, you go eat, Lemon. Have have a good food. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Now we can craft heavy balls. Required. One Epicorn and one Black Tumblestone. And we can now craft revives. Sweet! One Vivichoke and two Medicinal Leaves. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. You've at it. Even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Looking your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Cool. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Let's get some food, yeah. Sunly evening. So well, my boy! I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So, if problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed for the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, what was your post with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that. I was thinking maybe Will could handle it for me. I was told to require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, uh, yes. That request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall collect correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we could might learn from them, including more about the local Pokémon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. But today we should eat up and get some rest. Diamond Clan. There's also a Pearl Clan, from what I understand. Next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Alright. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. 
Already done, but thank you for being concerned. Hey, asshole, how's it going? Fancy hunger is the best seasoning. I'd rather rely on the quality of my sootfoot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. There's no telling what he thinks of me. You're the new surveyor, Kurt, are you? Well, good luck with it all. Can we go and pee inside people's houses? Yeah, we can. You're not scared of Pokemon? Nope. There's a lot of houses here. I don't know if I want to explore all of them. These survey core lots are amazing. I mean, you catch all these strange Pokemon like it's nothing. Oh, you're from the survey core. Well then, tell me how Pokemon make themselves so tiny. Nope, can't explain that. Didn't even know that's how they... I didn't even know that's how Pokeballs worked. Big Weasel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. If there really are Weasel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have. I'd love to see them uh, for comparison's sake. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a Weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Big Weasel, Little Weasel. Oh. You brought me a bigger Weasel? Uh, uh, have I? I don't know if I have. Two foot eight, okay. Well, we'll find one that's bigger. There's a place you're hoping to visit. You ought to stretch out your map and put a pin on it. Can you show the survey core yet? Because I love the scarf. Yeah, it's good. I can't wait for that thing to turn into a cascoon. It'll be really funny. Here at the Craftsworks, we sell materials and recipes. Can I help you with something? Here at the trading post, you can exchange merit points for items and trade Pokemon with others. Good of you to stop by. What is it you need? I'm good for right now, but thank you. I want to explore inside the headquarters real quick, because it looks interesting. We haven't gotten to know anyone else. Oh, hello. If you've been attacked by a Pokemon, you can always go to a base camp to rest. Oh, she must be, like, the ancestor of all the Nurse Joys. You're part of the Survey Corps now, right? You should craft your own potions. Oh, there's a basement here, too. Interesting. Who are you? If you're short on items, craft them all yourself. If you want to craft new items, collect recipes. I know I forced you to watch this before already, lol, but I cannot stop you watching the clip of when Subaru's Wormpole became a dust ox and you suspect it. Oh yeah, no, it's funny as hell. It's a most if you want to gather lots of materials for crafting. Bag it. We'll teach you to pack even more. 
Oh no, yeah, you're right. Uh, she sure fucking did shriek. I like how we can dodge roll indoors. Get are you lost? Well, you joined the Survey Corps? Cool. here seems relevant to you. These two seem relevant to me. Keep up the good work, new kid. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out why Sari B lists the new Pokemon's abilities since this game doesn't have abilities on Leo. Probably just out of habit. <gasps> Eevee! Oh yeah, Pikachu and Eevee have their original cries in this. Is that... Karen? From... Pokemon Gold and Silver? Sanqua. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. The Gray, this is this she looks almost exactly like Karen from the the gen, the Gold and Silver Elite 4, right? I'm not just making that up. Like look at her. She has the hair and everything. Huh. Curious. I wonder who else we'll run into. Larissa. People. Oh yeah, that's her. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, validating me. And help us solve them. Yeah, that's for sure, Karen. Yeah. Get Pokemon to help over. That's crazy talk. It's a brave new world we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. I'm getting to know everybody. And then Commander Komodo is just up here. I can't talk to him. Hmm. He wants nothing to do with me. I'm not cool enough. But how would they know what their abilities are? Just data mining? I don't know. No idea. Alright, we should probably go to those training grounds now. I've screwed around enough. What's up, friend? Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is... You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Yes. Here, this is my partner, Pikachu. I love that it uses the actual, like, old cry instead of just going, Pikachu. Uh, and they can't hold items. What's the point of berries? Uh, berries are used to attract Pokemon in the wild. Like, I threw one earlier and it, uh, that Starly ate it and then left. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight and... I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. They got. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Okay. Survey Corps of Chikari challenge you to battle. Ooh, shit. I just want to come back. Ow. Let's see how this works. Holy cow. 
That is effective. Uh oh. Pink Snow! That might help. You and your Pokémon seem to be completely in step with one another. Oh, Wurmple can evolve. Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Yeah. Guess I was wrong, then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently makes a big difference now battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Oh, jeez. And we out here we have the type matchup thing. Cool, 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 cool. Ba -bum. So you're the one that new recruit everyone's. Uh, you're the one that new recruit everyone's talking about. The name's Zizu, captain of the security corps. Okay, this is Flint. This is Flint's ancestor. This is a hilarious screen for a tutorial. Yeah. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen. If your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. This move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. Yeah, that's definitely Flint's ancestor, yeah. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation, and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Yeah, that's how the styles work. I like to think that Urshifu, uh, the evolved for the legendary Pokemon from the first Sword Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, the evolved form of Kudfu. It has two forms depending on where you train it at. Uh, there's Rapid Strike Urshifu and Strong Strike Ur Urshifu. And I think that maybe like in the lore, that's where this comes from. Fun fact of the day. Yes, it is. The battles are more timing based, uh, like in Final Fantasy games. It's actually closer to like what the how Octop uh, the battles in Octopath Traveler and uh, Bravely Default work. Excuse me. Now, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful news, just let me know. Zizu's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember? I mentioned in the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well. Once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps have them learn some new moves from Zizu if you'd like. Hmm. Hey, Tanner, what's up? We are doing the thing. Okay, Trinx is recovered. Here at the training grounds, you can master the moves or learn new moves. You need something from me? Um, I want new move. Okay, so what can you tutor them? Oh, interesting. So we can learn False Swipe, Rock Smash, Aerial Ace, Focus Energy, Rest. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, like, what if I were to pick... Chinks, is it different? Wow, it can learn all three of these, huh? That's awesome. Wife's out of town. I swept out her car as a surprise because I told her it was a Christmas gift. I would do it. Oh, that's nice. That's very, that's awesome. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about being late. 
you're good. Interesting. I've got four of these. And also, like, an army of Bidoofs. Pasture one, pasture two, pasture three, pasture... I should probably release some of these Bidoofs, right? What else can I do for you? Nothing in particular. Okay, but I don't know how often I'm going to use this, but it's good to have. Uh, I haven't had to clean my car in six fucking years. Yeah, same. I mean, it is pretty nice, but it is also because my Christmas gifts were terrible. Haha. <laughs> Ah! Gotcha. Alright, where are the pastures at? Are these the pastures? Over here? They seem to be, yes. Uh, because there's all my Pokemon. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Uh, about that. I would actually like to get rid of some. Wait, can I select multiple? No, I can't. My car in high school used to have like 90 empty water balls in the back of it. Yeah, no, uh, I need to clean out my I need I need to clean out my own car. So uh I'm I'm with you guys. Wait, hang on. Which one of these is the strongest Drifloon? That one, okay. Pretty sure my back sees a portal to Narnia. Mmm, yeah. I could see that for you. No idea what's back there. Board games, CDs, a numerical analysis textbook, God, some shirts that don't fit anymore, no clue. Mmm. Yeah, I have seen the back of your car. It is terrifying. Alright. Uh I'll leave the rest of them for now. Hey there, Will. The book of money released just now left a little something behind for you. Take it, would you? What'd they leave for me? Five sacks of grit gravel. Huh. Can raise the effort level for one of a Pokemon's stat. Can be used only if the effort level is at least level three and no greater than level five. Huh. Interesting. I guess it's worth it to release Pokemon then. I'll have to remember that for the future. Heading outside? Stay safe out there, kid. Alright, we're going to the camp. Oh, this is a thing I know not about. I, oh, this is a thing I know about. Oh, okay. God might be back there. I mean, you do have that one Arceus shirt. Maybe that's back there. That's Arceus' is god, as we've established in this. Boo! Oh, Volo! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I forgot the voice I gave him. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique! Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Yes, yeah, so I've done this several times now. Mm-hmm. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Instead of EVs and IVs, there's just one number for each stat that changes from 0 to 10. Hmm. Oh, you're that boy that from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. Let me tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. A mushroom cake. For 20 years of a mushroom foraging, I'm not going to read everything. Alright, so I need to get a springy mushroom. Cool. 
what are my first impressions with this game? Uh, it's awesome so far. It's such a different Pokemon game, and I love it for that. Lily, is that how it goes? That marble. Uh, what do you need? Okay, Cricketot. Oh. So I got to complete Cricketot's request. Okay. So far, it's very yeah. So far, I love this game. It's awesome. So it's awesome. All right. I guess I could catch more Bidoofs, but should I? Whoop! That's what it sounds like. Yep. I don't have enough ingredients. This. Oh, right. I just remembered. Oh, can I get Mystery Gifts now? I watched a couple of people play it yesterday. It kind of feels like the 3D Pokemon game I've always wanted since I was like 12. Yeah. Bummed to find that there's no competitive, but it seems like a fun one player experience. Yeah, it does. Which I'm totally fine with because I love single player games. Oh, yeah, I'm searching for Mystery Gifts real quick. Oh, I got a clothing gift. I think this is the Arcanine outfit, or Growlithe outfit. Fancy kimono, fancy bottoms, baneful fox mask. Neat. This game tickles all my instincts. Nice. Orpal is ready for it to evolve. Let's do it. Am I gonna get a Silcoon or a Cascoon? Uh, I think it is a Zoroa mask, yes. Oh, we got a Silcoon! Yes! I... I do personally prefer Beautifly. So this is awesome. Silcoon got the idea for a new move. Ooh. Oh, we got a Silcoon. I'm so happy about that. I really like Silcoon. Oh yeah, fun fact, there is fall damage in this game, so uh, be real fucking careful. They don't see me. It still really looks bigger. Oh, come on. That certainly looks a lot bigger. Thank you, Ashwat. I mean, I'll still probably buy the game, but I'll wait for a paycheck, yeah. Right, what's your background on Pokemon games like? Lucian, ankles in actual danger. Yeah, I totally want to get this. I mean, I'll probably still buy this game, I'll wait for a paycheck. No, no, used to think it Let's Plays and such were damaging their sales. Shake my head. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Ooh, a leak. 
Nope. Not dealing with you right now. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, you're right. You should be fine. Go on, then. Pull your guard down now. Treat to safety. Find yourself in trouble. I feel like the next step from Premier is combining the catching mechanics in this game with the battle mechanics and ease of competitive access in Sword and Shield. Yes, I agree. Who is you? You're a new character. Oh, she doesn't really look like anyone from the present. Over here! I like the Starly stockings she has, or the Stantler stockings she has. My, this is Will. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I presume you're here to prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yeah. That's good to hear. This is the classic Nintendo move of training our expectations. Yes, you are correct. I'm going to turn on the likes. You are absolutely right, Kaylee. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Munchlax. That Snorlax is the ancestor of Professor Rowan's Snorlax training. Oh, I have Swords Dance. Uh oh. Shit. Ah, oh, Starly, no. It's a rollout. Off. Oh. Twitch plays Pokemon chat picks Cyndaquil. Interesting. I hope I only played so much more in this game. Pitching Pokemon is like an actual challenge. It's fun that the soundtrack is based on Gen 4s. Yes, yes it is. I just figured that was the, was the safest. I guess Strings could have also used Quick Attack, but that was just safe to use. Ooh, got a lot of level ups. Nah. The one Pokemon that's not rare at all, badge-wise, I mean. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well thought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thank you, that's very nice of you. Oh, she's got an Ursa Ring on her shirt, too. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Stuff for revives. Oh, thank God, it's stuff for revives. You may want to level up before doing the next main story bit. Thanks for the heads up. Vivichoke. Also called a morning dew bud. So this is the use for revives. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. 
I think you're the, indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to help with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? Ah! My phone! Your arc phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. It seems you've quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Hmm. Though, before we continue, I must ask. Do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. And let me just sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokémon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. I'll stretch in a minute, Kaylee. However, it stole away from all the world long ago, hiding itself from our stites. Hey, so I haven't talked about it. TPP has a badge just to make stream more interactive. Whenever Pokemon is caught, evolved, otherwise obtained again, a few badges of that Pokemon is attributed to people who can Oh, cool! Almighty Sinnoh was, has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it's the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Alright. Uh... There we go. Alright, we're gonna stretch real quick. Uh... Looking at the time... I think I'll go for a little bit longer. Just because I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Oh, Haley redeemed the stretch roll card. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm, oh yeah, you do. All right, you, yeah, great, you stream today. Uh, like, in a couple hours. So yeah, everyone who's watching this, uh, go watch my good friend Eigengrey, uh, tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, where they will be playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. Uh, they're doing a Mono Steel run. Hang on, let me just... Yeah, that way. That's where they're at. Okay. You're welcome. Little Marco. So now we're in this part. So, Kaylee, we need to grind, you said, for a bit? Good job, Oshwat. We got our first Cricketod, everybody! Good 
cop have been spotted. Yep. Something's going on with that tree over there. These sickle badges are kind of very common while Ashwan Ravelins are stupid rare. Mmm. Hmm, that didn't work. What's this? Oh, is this a Vivichoke? Nice. Totally with that. Hey, it's a Burby. That makes sense, actually. Struggle bug. Do. There we go. Long story short, chat picked the worst possible choice for me. Dang. But it's still kind of funny. Ah, no, it's escaped. I know you love Worm, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> That's funny, Kaylee. All right. Oh, we got a lumberry and some cherry berries from the tree. I've seen it use struggle bug, yeah, twice. I love the way it walks. You're stealing that, huh? Oh, there goes. Oh, Geo, dude. there. Mind helping the guy out? I'm after some cherry berries, you know? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have the Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs on a tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. Okay. Out. All right, so you need three cherry berries, huh? Yeah. Freeze the bear berries. Thank you for the 15 Pokeballs. I appreciate that.
All right, that worked. Thank you, Ponyta. That's the only way to move until I can, you know, get ride Pokemon. Ride my word ear into the distance. Got a very odd team right now. A lot of stuff I would not normally get. Some of it I would, but you know. I have to complete the Pokedex page for Krikatot. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. That heals up. This game needs Razor Scooters. Yeah. Exactly. All right, back to what we were doing. But it's fun to explore. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was going to explore a bit. I've completed the Starly page, so I don't really need to do more for it. I haven't completed Shinx's page, though, so hang on. If I can sneak up. Nice. All right, pretty soon the Drifloon are going to come out. Very suck many hours, lol. I've been thinking about maybe restarting Breath of the Wild for that purpose. Maybe I'll drop $60 and just do a lot of ramen next week. Ooh, a bat. I got it with a backstrike. Sugar, fuck. Hmm. All right, we caught a Zubat, everybody. Most common Pokemon in the world. Thank you, Oshawott. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh. Drifloon does not want to fuck around. Alright. Aqua Jet! This tackle's not gonna do anything. Oh no, Crobat's great! Crobat's fine, I have nothing against Crobat. Great Nuzlocke encountered though, yeah. Why did you get sugar from Zubat? What? If well, Zubat and luck, I would be happy about it. Uh, 
another one. There's another one of those iron chunks. Seances are so time consuming. Uh, I don't know how either man asked Steve Jobs. Seances are so time consuming. Yeah, they are. Here, Silcoon, you do this one. Good job, Silcoon. You headbutted the thing. Proud of you. Okay, so I see an Alpha Floatzel over there. Can't craft any heavy balls because I don't have any Black Temple Stone. I'm gonna craft some of these. Hot pot for my birthday. Mm. I'm gonna run now. Shit ass. Oh, it's coming for me. It's co- I can swim! Drowning! Oh Lord! Everything is coming after me! Holy shit! So I can't swim. Great. I'm gonna sit here and recover for a second. Please. What's this? Okay, I know I'm fighting Geo Dude because it's going to kill me. Uh, yeah, I think I only have one cap camp at the moment, Kaylee, yes. I don't think I found the second one yet. Whew. Got a Geodude. Nice. And it had a Tumblestone on it. Sweet.
Maybe keep trekking then. Okay, gotcha. Drifloon was still following me, Jesus Christ. Not during daylight hours, none. <laughs> Is that Geodude gonna come and attack me? Can that happen? It's fine. Oh yeah, that Geodude is absolutely attacking me. So yeah, this is just monster. This is just Pokemon Monster Hunter. Cool. Oh, it was looking at me for a second. Oh my god. Oh, that was terrifying. Holy shit. Ugh. In Monster Hunter, multiple. Oh, looks like they flew off because it's daytime. In Monster Hunter, multiple uh, monsters can attack you at once. That's what Kaylee is referring to. Like if you if you're trying if you're focusing on one monster, then another monster will come and fuck you up. Sometimes, if it wishes. It is obnoxious. Oh yeah, and also the foraging that is very Monster Hunter as well. Gotta craft some more potions. What does this need? An essential boots. Okay. Thankfully, those are pretty easy to find, so I'm not too concerned about. I'm I'm not interested. I'm assuming there's a camp up ahead, and that's why... Damn it. Okay. I don't care that I defeated it. I don't need to catch everything. To most everything. There we go. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, it's just Starly. Okay, I think I see where the next camp is at least. Hey, a Stantler. Wait, Kaylee, is this where that waterfall is? Because if it is... Monster refineries find new camps and then usually have to compete with a small task to build it. Check my map. Is this around where that waterfall is, Kaylee? Oh, look. Tell me. Oh my god, we gotta find that. Ah! Okay. I have no idea which direction is north right now. I don't have space in my satchel. Oh, fuck. Okay. What is that? Is that what I think it is? 
Amonferno? Whoops. Ah, shit. These things like to use Swift. Holy cow! Does that mean there's Chimchar nearby? That'd be awesome if it does. Damn it! Oh, fucking what? Uh, I might as well try and beat it, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch it. Holy cow. That was... Exhilarating. Here, Oshwat. Sometimes I just need a bad thing, yeah. Yeah, I hope your cat's okay, Lemon. Sorry about that. Oh, hey guys, look, I got a beautifly. Yay, beautifly. Is there any moves that... Ooh, okay. Uh... Yes. I... No, I didn't. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Okay, we caught Stantler. We caught Stantler. All right, uh, I'm going to use the crafting thing quick. some scary stuff up here, honest to god. I don't even know what that cry is. It's terrifying, though. Oh. What the hell is up with that thing? Shit! 
Yeah, she does over groom sometimes. I've seen her do it. That was fascinating. Please leave me alone, please leave me alone, please leave me alone, please leave me alone. Oh, what? Oh, is that Stantler? Jesus Christ. Nope. Not dealing with it. shit. Whoa. Freaking look at this place. I should probably go find that, uh, that camp, huh, Kaylee? It's nearby, right? It's where those torches are. Okay, cool. You gotta be kidding me. I need to get more satchel space. Uh, we'll probably end here then, if this is where the base camp is. Hello, Mai. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What? Aventon, what are you doing here? Whew! Thank goodness! I got here in time! As a Pokémon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an Alpha, now could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. Laventon has always been here. <laughs> this is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay a tribute to a special Pokémon. Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Yeah, That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace of its racket. I love that it says that. Good for you, Cricketune. And that's what you're here for, Will. Drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Thank you. On my word! What a large specimen! Little wonder Alpha Pokémon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're only- they're not only big, though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this Alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Will. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this elf is as powerful and a hardy foe. You must face it and make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. So these are alphas. Hmm. Leventon has always been here, surely not from another continent or something. Hmm. Alright, let me... Ponyta, what are your moves? Okay. Uh, what? What? The Alpha Pokemon? That's Cricketune. Starly. 
Pressing the Y button during the battle, check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in which Pokemon. Also be affected by certain moves and items. Pokemon with high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. Fascinating. I wasn't expecting that! Starly, no! Singing the song of angry bugs. Uh, Oshawa, you have the highest level, so you probably have the best defense stats at the moment. Let's see if we can catch it. If not, I will settle for, you know. Damn. All right, I think we might just have to knock it out. And to ensure we do that, You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokémon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Thank you. You could have caught it, just might have taken a while. Aw, man. Oh well. We're... What in the world?! Oh, we're dear! It's the great weird ear. That's what Stantler turns into. Big deer. He looks upon you with kindness, Will. On poor big deer on Pride Rock. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokémon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable! Truly outstanding stuff! Pokémon letting someone ride on it! Why, it's just like the ride Pokémon of Alola! Huh. Professor Lavington! Will! Captain Silene sent me. She said that once Will carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Oh, about that. I know this is a joint decision by Adaman and the Commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokémon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokémon, then I imagine you could al should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weird Deer has taken a liking to Will as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. A clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. We did it. The past version of Alola would also be super interesting to explore. I agree, yeah. Maybe they'll make more time travel games. I hope so. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. It'd be nice if more than one of the Tapu got to do things. Yes! Like, I like Tapu Koko as much as the next guy, but I want to see the other three do something. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corps arrives. Cool. New camp. Here we have it. A new base camp on Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set off from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Okay, so that is like Monster Hunter. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. I caught a lot of shit. Ooh, made a pretty decent amount of money, too. It's clever to do regional forms instead of making a bunch of new Pokemon for a game that has over a thousand. It's true, yeah. Oh, nice. We've completed Oshawott's, uh thing. 
We completed three new entries. Wow. Oh, wow. We're almost to the next rank. Huh. That was quick. Same with Megas and such, which I wish was still a thing. Yes, I missed the Mega Evolutions. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Megas are cool. Getting money from catching Pokemon more than once. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied Cleavor from the rumors. He ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went up to investigate it this morning. The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, oh, this is the Cleavor that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is or if further investigation is order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of damage is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Will here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleavor is so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. No, no, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. Since the perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Yes, yes, they were they were good for the Pokemon that became overshadowed. I liked Mega Ampharos. I'd be acting erratically too after getting struck by lightning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good morning, Will. If I survive, that is. Imagine Mega Dunsparce. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh boy. Oh. There you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Sinnoh as the ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast T-suite space? In some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I'd worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me, get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clam, in our world's very basis. You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. This fight is stupid. I'm off to Commander Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. They're dumb. Adaman and Irida. You can feel the tension when those two show up. Oh yeah, it absolutely feels like pageantry. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on and on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. It's fully pageantry, yeah. All right, let's go see what this is about, and then after that, I think I will. I think that'll be a good stopping point. It's like I want to get to know these weirdos. Aren't we supposed to like each other? Quick, argue about space time. Hello, commander. Oh, what's in here? Oh. The group request board. Drifloon. All right, I got a bunch of, yeah. It's Aqua versus Magma all over again, but even more nonsensical. 
That would have been something related to diamonds. Well, yeah, there's the animating, uh, Adam, animated, adamantine orb that you could get or whatever. Oh. That was splendid. You came along a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? Go to top one of my pickle pots. Blah, blah. Called Geodude. I have a... Where did she go? Alright, I guess I'll give her that Geodude later. Because I've got, like, two or three of them. Oh, yeah, I have three of them. All right, let's see what's going on here. Diamonds and pearls, what could it mean, lol? What do you intend to do about that Cleavor, Commander Commodo? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where Lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy Team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool! Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. So you've arrived? Huh? This is Will, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Ah! Ah, I hear from my you've earned Weirdeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's just a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. We used to be, huh? We don't? If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger, who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor. This newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I can see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. This whole- that whole practice bothers me! Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show us you what we can do. This is your mission now, Will. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of the situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. This feels like a space-time paradox, yeah. Are we really in the past? Right, big space war. Didn't that mean anything, sir? Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Understand? Oh. Join me downstairs, Will. We'll cover the details of this new mission.
Yeah, so yeah, we gotta deal with Cleavor, the big bug rock evolution of uh, Scyther. Oh, good, you're already here. Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. You're kind of referring to like a person that took part of their things. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Will, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleavor's a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. Seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. The mis mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. He's like a sacred Pokemon, yeah. I like how Game Freak was like, let's remake Scizor, but worse. Very well. Then let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe their, these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Will, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it! You might have just been swimming in its divine might. This is a long cutscene. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleavor situation. Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. That's Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick to you! Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui. And that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many people capable of standing up to such powerful Pokémon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliant can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. No skipping cutscenes. No skipping. I figured you skip skipped it. He certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adelman and mine went wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleavor, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures, too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Five leaks were sent to your storage since there was no room in their satchel. Okay. Can I talk with this guy yet and upgrade my bag? Kaylee, how do I get him to upgrade my bag? Kaylee? Oh, you're not here. Isn't it this guy? Do I have to be level two? Okay. Uh, you can literally kill your redeemed hydrate. Oh yeah, clear out your satchel out somehow. I'm going to, hang on. Uh, I'm also gonna quit for the, right now. Uh, and, oh. Find yourself unable to back up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full? If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Huh. Okay. 
Carry around more, buh -bu. Teach me. Yes, please. Teach me. Baggin, yeah. I'm just gonna keep asking. Until I can't anymore. Like, if this goes through all my money, fine. It's worth every penny. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, that's five new spaces. Oh, a thousand now. Interesting. Teach me. Yes. You're in a good place to quit and do some side quests on your own time. That's what I plan to do. Let me just get this last upgrade. Not Breath of the Wild Infinite Inventory. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, cool. Did it. Going to leave now. Uh, counting battle equipment, yeah. Uh, let me pick up the side quest real quick. Alright, I'll give him... I guess I don't have five orange berries on me right now. Alright. Let me go in here real quick, get my inventory sorted, and then I'm gonna quit for the night. This game is really fun. I, I really like it so far, okay. Alright, is there anything here I don't need? Uh, this. Hmm. Okay, so all, all the rest of this is like crafting materials that I could use. Oh, all that extra space is beautiful. Yeah, we'll be going to Gray's thing next. Well, yeah, so next uh, Gray will be streaming. Yeah. What do you need help with? Special recipe. What am I crafting? Poke she dolls. Need three logs of wood. Okay. Oh, I can craft these now. Sweet. How many potions do I have? 16. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will also hope to get to a point after my stream where I can get some odds and ends done off stream. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Wrong thing. This is fun. I I really like this as a Pokemon, as like a concept for a Pokemon game. And I really hope that in the future they're able to um Whatever they do with Pokemon in the future, they're able to combine this with, like, the the easy access to competitive that they introduced in Sword and Shield. 
Oh man, that was so cool. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do some side questing off stream. Uh, I also don't know when I'm gonna play this next. Uh, cause we gotta finish Ocarina of Time and Brilliant Diamond. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Things that I need to do. Whoa. But I won't work on missions until I do story stuff. Um, I will probably evolve some Pokemon off stream, but I won't. I'll try to keep certain evolutions, um, for on stream because those those are gonna be some fun reveals, especially concerning uh, your diamond run will probably wrap up before you know it. Yeah, I'll I will be done with that Thursday at the latest. I think. Ocarina, I'm gonna be done with on Wednesday for sure. I'm gonna be done with them both. I'm gonna be done with Ocarina for sure on Wednesday. And honestly, uh, we might end up in a situation where, hey, I can just play this again next Saturday afternoon. Uh, into evening, I guess. Man, this was fun. This was very fun. But yeah, it'll probably take up a, a one of those two slots very, very soon. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have plenty of time to stream it, and I'm very excited because it's very fun. Uh, but yeah, um, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, so yeah, real quick, y'all should go check out Eigen Gray. Uh, cause they're gonna be doing a whole, a whole, uh, mono steel run, um, on their channel. So go check that out. Uh, that'll be at 7.30 PM central time. So that's like in an hour and a half. So yeah, go check that out. Um, in the meantime, I will be streaming more Brilliant Diamond and more Ocarina of Time next week. Diamond Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and Ocarina of Time Wednesday. And if we get done with Ocarina of Time early, I might switch over to Legends Arceus. We'll see. Um, but yeah, those will all be at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, so be sure to check those out. Okay. Um, yeah, this was a very fun stream. I'm liking this game so far. Yeah, this was, this was a very fun game, and I'm having a blast, and I can't wait to do side quest stuff. It's... This is the Pokemon game I think we've all always wanted, and it's fantastic. I can't wait to play more of it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like that and you haven't already, you can follow me here on Twitch to get notifications when I go live. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow me anywhere outside of uh, Twitch, uh, there's my links to my social media. Uh, I recommend joining our Discord channel, our Discord server, because I will post a uh, I will post stuff there first. I will always post it down to there first. And if you want to check out any of my archive streams, uh, here's my YouTube channel, so go subscribe to that too. It'll be fun. If you want to go check out a bunch of older stuff. Once again, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a great night and weekend. I will see you all at Graystream at 7.30 p.m. Central tonight. Bye everybody!